Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Ilaria and in this video I'm going to show you how you can measure the effectiveness of your marketing campaign with a cookie-less approach. Indeed, in this video we are going to see why we are wasting our budget in marketing, why our click-based attribution model are called messy middle by Google, why there is a problem with this kind of model of multi-touch attribution model, and so how you can measure the actual ad effectiveness. Then we're gonna see how we can use incrementality testing and what is it, the different method to run an incrementality test and the different experimental method. And and finally, we are going to see what you need to run an incrementality testing on your own using even different library to run experimental method like geo experiment. So why half of our budget is wasted? As we can see from a research by eMarketer in June 2021, the global ad media spending in 2021 is around $700 billion. But the problem is that half of the money we are spending is wasted and we don't know which one is the half. But why? is this happening. First, it's because we don't have any smart goals to take into account. And smart goals can be like in this example, get 1000 website visits during May. And a smart goal need to be defined as a specific, measurable and achievable realistic time-bound goal. So we need to know the final goal, how long it takes to achieve this goal and it needs to be realistic. But then there is an actual messy middle in our attribution model, in, in our funnel. That's because there is the chaos between the first time a person see our ads and when he's gonna purchase. That's because in, in the perfect world, we think that a person see our ad, click on it, and then it purch he purchases. But actually what is gonna happen is that people are gonna see our ads out of home, offline or on programmatic and Facebook, then they're gonna search for us and just in the final moment they're gonna buy and that's the problem is with tools like Google Analytics and the other multi-touch attribution tools. They are click based on last click, first click or data driven. They didn't take into account, into consideration the fact that people can just see our ads without click on them. So, how we can measure the, uh, the effectiveness of our ads? For what we said before, we don't take into consideration a click-based approach because we could underestimate or overestimate our ad effectiveness. We can think that uh, an ad where there is a lowest CPC cost per click is better than one with the highest, the highest cost per click. But with cost per click, we didn't take into consideration 
people will just see our ads. So, to measure the ad effectiveness in our marketing action, we could run incrementality testing. In incrementality testing, we make an experiment, a treatment to our audience, to our public, and then we calculate the difference before and after this treatment. Like you can see in this image, the incremental lift is the number of pizza that we have in addition to the control group. In the test group, maybe we have to show our offline campaign and in the control group, we didn't show. So, we measure the ROI of our advertising spend calculating this difference before and after we launch a campaign or a promotion or a new product. To run an incrementality testing, indeed, we can use two different types of methods. An observational method where we don't have to run experiment, we just need to observe and analyze our treatment after we launch a new product. This is the case when you cannot split your audience in two different groups, like to launch a new product or to launch a TV or radio campaign, you cannot split random, randomly or geographically your audience. Then there is the experimental methods. That is the most expensive but most accurate way to understand and analyze your marketing effectiveness. In the observation method, as we said before, we collect the information and the behavior before our treatment, our marketing action, and we analyze the difference after the treatment, after the promotion. With experimental method, we can split our audience into different types of group. Geo experiment where we decide which geos, which region, with which zip codes can, will see our uh, campaign, our promotion, and which one don't. With RCT, randomized control trials, we will decide randomly the treatment group where people will see our ads and the control group that is a random group of people who won't see our ads. Intention to treat is the last one and is a kind of randomized controlled trials, but in this case, we will take into account even if a person from the test group won't see our ads because he is not gonna uh, open Facebook or use Facebook, and that's why he won't see our ads. To run an experiment of incrementality testing, we need to know how much budget we can use for running this experiment, which is the control and which is the test group, and how long it takes to run this experiment.
specifically to run a geo experiment that is the most accurate and the most manageable kind of experimental method, we can use three different official open sources library coming from Google and Facebook as Meta. That is market matching, GeoX, and GeoLift by Meta. In the next video, we are going to see how we can run a GeoLift experiment using the official open source library. See you there.